All right, where's that theme song? Let's get this started. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four. What did it do? Yippity, yeah. Wow, wow. Shibbity bop, yappity dap, wing wham woom. Ladies, gentlemen, NBs, and everybody's, hello. It's Thursday. We made it. We survived. Congratulations to all you very much alive and cool people here with us today. Oh, it's coming back around. Oh, yeah. You know what it is. Every week we sit down, we watch the weirdest, dumbest, most befuddling cartoons of the 80s, 90s, and 2000s, and we watch it gleefully until we go goddamn crazy. I see a lot of names in the chat, a lot of cool people. I'm happy to see ya. Let's get it going. Cartoon Dumpster is open. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi, it's me. Uh, it's me. It's me, the guy. I'm the guy. I'm the one you said. Uh, you call it Lil Felty. You could, yeah, I, I, I go by many names. The purple one. The schmappy man. Dr. Sabubu. I mean, nobody calls me Dr. Zabubu, but I'm trying to make it work. It's sticky. It's got it's got some nice things. Hello to everybody in the YouTube chat. Hello to everybody in the Twitch chat. Hello to all you 44 souls and some of you double dipping. It's good to be back. Ah, well, how's my calibration? Hold on. Ah, oh my gosh. All right, I'm calibrated. I'm calibrated. That's right, Lolo Frosty. It's me, Oop Marie's husband. How many people are double dipping in the chat? This is, this is alarming. Oh my gosh. Tia Frida says, yay, I'm on my way to New York Comic Con. The LPN people. Oh, nice, nice. Pick up that trash now, Puff. <laughs> it's time to stuff it into our mouth holes. Amazing, amazing. Uh, thank you already to the parade of people donating for the retro commercials. I gotta say, enjoy your Zoa, Professor Pig, Avalando Sanders, Deadneck, Gingerbeard, Janna, enjoy your Zoa. Torgo, and Aqua Lungman. God damn! Aqua Lungman hitting hard and fast with that $25. Thank you so much. Um, last week, last week, you guys really stepped up for the Corn Nuts workers. It was an amazingly fun time. I was touched that we all banded together to help. Uh, let's see. Can I? Oh, can I do it? Can I do it? Is it? Is it live? Is it live? It is. It is. Okay. Boop. Oh well, it's weird. It's weird. Whatever. It posted. It's, it posted. Spread the love on the go, on that GoFundMe and do what you can. But uh, today, today it's just a baseline, normal ass cartoon dumpster. Um, oh, we are gonna do, we are gonna do a, uh, we're gonna try a new series today. I'm excited. Somebody, uh, uh, I think it was Farstar suggested it, and I, I, I looked at it a little bit, and I think it might, it might be. It might be good. It might be good. We'll see. We'll see. You know, I can't pre-watch too much. We can't watch too much. Otherwise, the magic, the magic is ruined. But if it's bad, we'll find out together. You know what I mean? And of course, as promised last week, uh, we we got a Sky Surfer Strike Force also on the agenda. Um. All right. Well. Do we got do we got to talk about do we got to talk about the goddamn Mario trailer? Do we got to do doth doth we got to Enjoy yourself. I mean, I don't know what people were expecting. I don't I it's it's not I will say we already knew Chris Pratt was a bad choice. We knew it was a bad choice. 
Everybody agrees. Somebody posted uh, the French uh, dub, and it's they, whoever they got is doing an actual Mario voice, and it sounds way better. But the fact... I was on Team Isekai. I was on Team Isekai the entire time. I assumed the fact was that... By having Chris Pratt do it, they were gonna be he was just gonna be a normal guy that got sucked into the world of Mario, and they do that sh that shit where like he looks at his gloved hands and he's like, Whoa, 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 wait, I'm Mario? This is crazy, where am I? Like I I, I just assumed. But he gave he gave the voice just a little like the most imperceptible amount of Brooklyn stink. There's just a little bit of like, hey, I'm Mario here in his performance. Like, like, like a, a molecule thin layer of Brooklyn stink on it that I just, now I think that's just the voice. Like he is Mario Mario, the plumber adventurer, and he just did not try. He just did not try. Hey, thank you for Bezos bucks. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Gingerbeard. Thank you, Torgo and Deadneck again. Thank you, Axe Danner. I mean, if it was a Bob, sold to XL, you're saying, well, Bob Hoskins also didn't do, there was no Mario voice Enjoy when Bob Hoskins did it. Vasty, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, and the humor, like the thing with the penguins and Bowser, like that's baseline illumination. Like that like cartoonish menace mirrored with like silly comedy. That's like, that might have, that's just illumination stock and trade. That's just uh, Despicable Me 101. Kung Fu Bowser. Eh. Captain Lou, best non-Martinet voice. Maybe, maybe. I just, like, I don't know if I'm going to the theater for this one. I don't know. I don't know. It looks, you know, respect to the animation team, respect to uh, all the people who aren't Chris Pratt. But I just, ah. The, my hope for a Phil Lord, Chris Miller, Lego movie, uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, like, transformationally great animated movie is gone it's gone it's like i just don't think i just don't think it's it's gonna be it comma chief that's all i'm saying it'll be fine it'll be fine it'll be better than the netflix marmaduke movie starring pete davidson that's a, you know not a high bar to clear but CG movies can be really bad, and this won't be that bad. <laughs> anyway, we're already off to a roaring start. My God. My God, we almost, look at the, the little, the, my little bar boy is almost filled up all the way. That's incredible. Uh, if you're not familiar with how this works, if you click the donate link, uh, visible in the video description. Uh, you can submit a retro commercial and we will watch it together. Uh, and it's usually a good time. That's, that's, that's the long and short of it. Uh, Flesh Wife is once again not with us in the chat, so please don't go nuts. Please don't go goddamn crazy. Enjoy yourself. I'm doing my best. Vince Omni, thank you. Gingerbeard, thank you once again. But let's, honestly, honestly, you know how this one's gonna start. You know how we start these things. Ah. Once again, we are, we are riding that galactic trail deep into the heart. Deep into the heart of a uh, space adventure with Galaxy Rangers. And this one, I'm very excited. I'm very, very excited for this one. Because the episode's title... Blah. The episode title this week is... 
the space sorcerer. Fleshwife is not dead. She's uh, at rehearsal for a community theater production. She's actually doing neat things with her life. Not just making sure I don't accidentally poop and pee pee myself live on the internet. <laughs> She's not in the wife cupboard. I swear to God. Oh, I don't think they're going to acknowledge the wife cupboard this episode either. I think we're just going to have to wait to see what happens to that gosh darn wife. In 2086, two peaceful aliens journeyed to Earth, seeking our help. In return, they gave us the plans for our first hyperdrive, allowing mankind to open the doors to the stars. Hey, comrade. We have assembled a team of unique individuals to protect Earth and our allies. Courageous pioneers committed to the highest ideals of justice and dedicated to preserving law and order across the new frontier. These are the adventures of the Galaxy Rangers. No guts, no glory. Oh, I'm already in. I'm already in. Did you hear that pipe organ? Did you not hear the pipe organ? Oh, hold on to your seats, people. But beware, you might only need the edge. Or no, wait, what's the line? You'll pay for your whole seat, but you'll only need the edge. Ooh, ooh. Oh, we're getting spooky. Ooh, I feel my spooky bones. My spooky bones are vibrating. Let's go. Hey, Sinestro, thank you so much for the sub. Oh, my God. That's the red. You're asking which bones are the spooky bones. The spooky bone uh, varies from person to person. Uh, it could be your humerus. It could be your uh, femur. Could be just like a weird little uh, part of the finger that you don't know about. Could be the anvil or the hammer or the drum of your ear. Everybody has a different spooky bone. Hello. Oh, uh. oh no, enslaved Ewoks. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Need more stones. Please, can't we stop? We're so tired. Let us rest. No! Keep working! Work faster! Yeah! Yeah, go, little buddy! Can't, can't let them catch me. I have to get help. You can do it! Oh, good. The communicator's still safe. Well, that's Galaxy convenient. Rangers, come in. Nico, Nico, can you hear me? This is Iktar of the suit. It's urgent. We need help. A sorcerer. Demons. They've taken over. <laughs> Comrade, I also don't like the little hamster men's design. Frankly, I'm glad they're enslaved. I think they deserve it. Just on looks alone. Hi, it's me, cultural critic uh, Puppet Jared here. If you look dumb, it's okay to enslave you. That's my take. That's my take. Please, please don't, um, don't repost this and give me a following. And then don't make entire videos commenting on my horrendous take and raise my profile. That's, I, I would hate for that to happen. I'm just saying, if if I can, if visually I decide arbitrarily, it's okay to enslave you. Thank you, thank you, Papango. Thank you for that uh, $10 donation. See, I'm already benefiting. 
I'm already reaping the rewards of having a horrific take on the internet. Yes, my power grows. Can't we go any faster, Zachary? We'll get to Basud in time. Don't worry, right, Goose? Navigating in the sorcerer's system is very tricky and dangerous. The Hang in there, Nico. The sorcerer system. I'm... Okay, great. I'm glad. I'm glad in this universe, the scientists in charge of, of uh, charting space were like, and over here we got the magic galaxy. <laughs> we'll get there in one piece. Incoming transmission from Beta. Galaxy Rangers. Many spacecraft have disappeared in the sorcerer's system. <laughs> Ages ago, a race of sorcerers ruled the part of space you have just entered. Proceed with extreme caution. Not many ships have survived the sorcerer's system. Stay alert, team. Anything can happen. As part of... Wow, what a place to pause. As part of my newfound turn as a hot take internet reactionary, I do have to say, if you buy my book, it is called The Sorcerer System, and I will teach you how to conjure some bitches. Iktar and his people are my friends. They're farmers, not fighters. We'll soon know their status. We're nearing Basut now. I wonder if that's where the bad guys live. <laughs> Salt to XL, you're not wrong. You're not wrong about Aleister Crowley. Ah, the Galaxy Rangers, the fools. Uh, excuse me, my Oh, I know you oh come on. Come on. Come on. Who is who is this little guy? Who's this little munchkin? <laughs> Who's this? Oh, I want to give him kisses. I want to give him little kisses on his little cheeks. Who's this kissable Yoda? <laughs> he better be the hero. He better, or even better, he's the actual evil sorcerer, and this guy is just like a front. No, but I silence. They would dare to challenge me, mogul, most powerful of the... Uh, but, but my lord, I wouldn't dream of interrupting, but there's something. Be silent, I say! Please, my lord, it, it's the star stones, you see. I was looking at them, and there was... Wait, there's... Wait, okay, star... They established star stones earlier in the... Earlier in the run. But yeah, yeah, wow. The Twinks, the Sprites, yeah, yeah, this is just a, this is just Rainbow Bright alternate universe right now. Something strange going on. The only thing strange here is your infernal persistence. Get out of here before I turn you into a human. Honestly, that's a threat. That's a true threat. <laughs> Those star stones strengthen my powers with every second. These are the proper coordinates, but where's your friend Iktar? I don't know. Huh? Zach, here's Iktar's daughter. <laughs> Becca, where's your father? Hey, you're a Kiwi, isn't that right? Yes, I am. On a they they're very disturbing. I don't like somewhere along the way. They wanted to do something cute, and they failed miserably. Ah, oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. Also, Mr. Sketches, thank you. Thank you. Happy to see you, buddy. Observer duty with the Galaxy Rangers, but we can't help you till you tell us where your father is. I'm not sure. He might be in the old quarry. The Ugh. demons made everybody go down there to dig. Come on, I'll show you. Look, demons! They work for the sorcerers! Those sure do look like demons up there! The sorcerers are long gone! Except for one, Mogul. But I don't see him anywhere. 
He isn't here. He's living in the Fortress of Shen. I once had an archaeological dig with Iktar at the Fortress of Shen. That place couldn't be taken by an army. But maybe just two or three people could. Remember, the battle's only a diversion. Hey, don't worry. We've got the easy job. Right, Buzz Wang? Hey! All right, everybody. It's Buzz Wang. There he is. I was worried. I was worried that Buzz Wang wasn't going to be in this, and I wouldn't have an excuse to say the word Buzz Wang. It's Buzz Wang. Uh, crack open a beer, everybody. It's Buzz Wang o'clock. Good luck, Zach, Nico, Sozo. We'll never get into the fortress through that gate. There has to be some other entrance. Nico, can you use your special powers to find us another way inside? I'll have to touch the fortress wall. My job. Hey, demons! Here I am, you ugly nightmares! Hey, what is that thing? <laughs> we don't know what it is. Kill it! Kill it fast! They can't catch him. Zozo's too quick and smart for them. Come on, Nico. Huh. It's kind of pushing the limit of psychic powers. You'd think Tech Guy would be better at this. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, Masuki, get up! Ah. Yeah. Oh, shot that! Who would attack us? Gentlemen, allow me to introduce myself. Buzz Wang, robot extraordinaire. <laughs> oh shit, it's Buzz Wang. Kill it. Let's kick that guy. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. Did they say kick that guy? This, was that their call to action? Eh, kick that guy. <laughs> Let's kick that guy. Let's kick that guy. Let's kick that guy. <laughs> ah, what? Wait, what'd you say? You know, let's... Wait, did he say kick that can? Wang, robot extraordinaire. Let's kick that can. Okay, kick that can. Ah, less fun. Less fun. <laughs> They're all yours, Goose. Uh, Goose. I feel like if the plan was to just shoot the guys, you could just shoot the guys. Like Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> Standing in the middle of a demonic factory spewing acrid smoke out of uh, ominous spires. Just being like, my gut's telling me something fucked up's here. Thing is going too smoothly. No one's even tried to stop us. That's not what I mean. There's something rushing at my... And I... Oh! Huh? Why, well, I know this place. This is where Iktar and I excavated the ancient fortress, Basuti. That excavation was a long time ago. I couldn't have gone back in time. Or did I? I... I don't know. You are literally attacking a fortress of a sorcerer. You understand that sorcerers exist and that you are confronting a magical sorcerer and you're still just being like, oh, I'm so confused. I don't know what's happening. God damn it. I'm listen, listen, I know I'm backseat adventuring here, but I'm just saying if I was in the Galaxy Rangers, I wouldn't fall for these shenanigans and I should be, I should be deputized nigh immediately. Also, thank you, Metal Nerd. Zach? Zach, where are you? <gasps> huh? Oh no! The the Ewoks are the demons! They're priceless relics! No! Stop that! Stop it! Oh, 
<laughs> Sold to Excel. They did Jabal. Yes. Where are you? Don't be frightened, dear. <laughs> My number one thing that I love to say to make sure someone isn't frightened is the phrase, don't be frightened in a spooky whisper. It's all right. It, it can't be you. Zachary, my dear husband, don't you know me? Eliza? <gasps> yes, my darling. Guess yes. who broke her way out of the cupboard? There she is, the wife, in all of her wifey glory, fresh out the cupboard and ready to party. We thought we forgot her, but there she is. What's hey Z man? Hey Z man, I the this is the wife. She was trapped in a cupboard because a space demon lady stole her soul. I hope you're caught up now. Believable. How did you get here? Hush, plenty of time for questions later. How? What? <laughs> 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 marriage am i right guys one minute she's a uh, ethereal beauty yearning for your touch the next she's the goddamn green goblin can't get free things too strong I can't breathe i got to touch my badge <laughs> That does look cool. That's a great villain monster design. Zachary, Zachary, please. Oh no, I'm not falling for one of your tricks again. Then Master will get you. He'll get you. He'll get you. This is really, uh, this is really taking wifey in the streets, demon in the sheets way too seriously. Am I right, folks? Ha cha cha cha. Where are you? Nico, where are you? I like I I like the idea that while all that just transpired, Gooseman has just been unceremoniously executing demon after demon consistently for the past three minutes. Just just standing still, just shooting dudes in the brain left and right. Someone's gonna stuff that kill them. Then Mikey, no well. Look out! Ah! Ah! Uh, uh, they got Goose! The Galaxy Rangers were hit! We've got to help! We may not be warriors, but we're not slaves either! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> you don't. Oh my god, full Ewok. Full Ewok shenanigans. Now, Ranger human! What? Oh, he can heal now. He has healing powers. Gooseman has 800 powers. He has 800 million powers. He has too many powers. Jesus Christ. Every week he gets more OP without exception. Like, uh, science guy still just has his magic triangles. Like, uh, psychic lady still just is psychic. Leader guy, st Zachary, still just has his one crazy arm. But Gooseman gets powers on top of his powers. We've won! We've beat 
Modern Bard, you're not wrong. Sorry, friend. We're not out of it yet. There's still the sorcerer to handle, remember? But Captain Fox and Nico can take... Who ca who cares about the sorcerer? You're a god. You are an, but you are a blonde-haired roguish fucking avatar of power. Just walk in casually and destroy all who stand in your way, Gooseman. Care of him? They can, can't they? I only hope they can, my furry friends. <laughs> Nico. Thank you, Modern Bard. Really? She's still just like zooped up on magic mist? God. Thank God a strong man will remind her. God, the music is still so good. Some kind of powerful illusion. Hallucination is more like it. My? Isn't this a touching scene? Zachary, over there. Oh, cool, just standing there. Zach, your guess was correct. It is Mogul, so there is one last space sorcerer. The greatest of the space sorcerers. Ah, uh, my lord, maybe you shouldn't silence Larry. <laughs> His name is Larry? His, this guy's name is Larry? Everyone else is like Quickwop and Bing Bong and Mogor. And, and of course, over here, we got Larry. <laughs> Amazing. Ah, uh, my lord, maybe you shouldn't... Thank you for the follow. I am the most powerful of the space sorcerers. Soon you will grovel in fear. Idle boast, Mogul. Are they? Fools. You were lucky enough to make it this far into my fortress. Now you'll feel my power. <laughs> Galaxy Rangers, you're finished! <laughs> oh, powers of the dark solar winds, it is I, Mogul, the space sorcerer! <laughs> Hear my call, oh, heed my conjuration! Amazing, amazing What's vocal performance. She tried to pull. No act is focusing his psychic powers. Shenlong! It's goddamn Shenlong! God damn it! He collected the Dragon Balls! They just let him talk! I don't believe it! A dragon? A Dennerite dragon. Wow. A giant two-horned Dennerite dragon, to be precise. <laughs> Mogul's enhancing his strength just as the implants increase ours. But how does he do it? Never mind how he does it. He did. This is no time for a misfire. Really? If only your arm was also a gun. I'll just wait several minutes for you to remember your own powers while Gooseman pulls powers out of his ass left and right. Time to use my ultimate technique! Policeman Badge Blast! You big lizard! <laughs> Get away from me! Honestly, that would be my plan as well. Just straight kicks into its ass. <laughs> just, just forward kicks right to the butt area and hope for the best. Him before I... Uh -oh. Nico, look out! Oh. Nico, you're <laughs> laughing? This so-called dragon doesn't have any psychic feel. It's not real. What? But you kicked it. It is only an illusion. You kicked it. We saw you kick it. When I kick the dragon on the tail, oh? I must have physically kicked Mogul instead. <laughs> <laughs> He's rubbing his butt. Ah, oh, I love it. I love it. 
He's rubbing his butt. She was kicking his butt. She was physically kicking his little wizard rumpus. E you you dare? Hey, Ractoony, happy to see ya. <laughs> Hope things have been going well for ya. I love your art streams. Look out! <laughs> He's hurling stuff! I can hold a psychic shield, but not for long. Oh, everybody's getting new powers today. Don't worry, the only effective character is, hey guys, I heard you were facing even the tiniest bit of adversity, so I figured I would just uh, dissipate all of that instantly with my insanely overpowered abilities. Captain, the Star Stones, Goose. Mogul must be getting all that power from the Star Stone. Rangers, protect Nico from the debris. I'm going after Mogul. Oh, I, oh my god, I love that little spazzy run cycle. I'm sorry, I know that you don't use that word anymore. I'm, I'm old, I'm old, I'm learning. Um. <laughs> it's funny though, it's funny though. Oh, now, what I say, three minutes and he remembers he can do this. Officer Beam Cannon! Oh wow, he just had a pile of magic rocks. The Star Stones! Honestly, this show whips ass. Took me years to find this planet. It's not easy to find these special Star Stones. Oh, those star stones gone, gone, all oh, that power, that lovely, lovely power, gone. Oh my God, Modern Bard, thank you. Oh, you'll pay for this. I'll call up the demons of the outer dark. Oh, oh, you can do that? You should have done that earlier. Uh, I, oh no. I, I don't have the strength left. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> not just, I'm sorry, not just a whoa, but also a <laughs> insane, insane. Uh, I, I, I don't have the strength left. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh my God. The dark ones have heard me. One last star stone. Now, Galaxy Rangers, you'll learn my vengeance for... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've been trying to tell you, my lord. Those star stones, if you expose them to air for more than a day, my lord, they, uh, they crumble. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's, that's convenient. You've lost. No, no, not yet I haven't. I still have some of my own power left. Enough to do this. We shall meet again, Galaxy Rangers, and I will have my revenge. Oh, just gonna leave Gary holding the bag? Oh, Larry. <laughs> I'll meet again. But all right, all right, here it comes. Here comes the underwhelming closing joke. What's it gonna be? How underwhelming? 
They've yet to nail this. I'm, I'm, I'm clutching the edge of my desk waiting to hear what is the underwhelming joke going to be. But I don't think you'll enjoy that meeting. Starstones amplify supernormal talents. Hey, Reeves. In the wrong hands, Starstones are also very dangerous weapons. We'll have to guard Basut. Looks like your Basuti friends are going to have a lot of protection from the League of Planets. Hey, what's wrong, Nico? Oh, I'm just worrying about poor Iktar. Nico, here I am. Iktar! You've got us all how to stand up for ourselves. Well, we don't have to worry about Mogul bothering you again. All his plans for conquest turned out to be nothing more than... dust. Ugh. Stupid. Always bad. Dust in the wind. All we are is dust in the wind. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. At least, at least it wasn't infuriatingly a non-joke. An effort was made. Into this world when the change they ride. They're the galaxy rangers, heroes in the sky. No guts, no glory. Yeah. I love it. It's a great show. This is whatever the the mystery of like of um vampires. This is like the opposite. This is the opposite of vampires. It's a good show. It's a good ass show. All right. Okay. Well, uh I wasn't expecting this much love this fast, but we have a ton a literal ton of commercials to get through that you guys donated for. So let me just fill up the queue for a hot second and we will start watching them. But I want to thank uh, everybody that's donated so far. Avalando Sanders, Ginger Beer, Jana, Deadneck, Torgo, Aqua Lungman, Vince Omni, Pig, Professor Pig, Axe Danner, Vasti, Sinescro. Uh, oh my God, so many repeat. Torgo, Torgo, you've gone insane. You've gone insane. There's so many here. Mr. Sketches, Modern Bard, and Reeves. Let's let's just let's just start cracking into these and hopefully we can put a dent in them before we get to the next cartoon. When you donate to the stream, I watch commercials and they're clean, hopefully. I don't get delisted. Also, I don't know, it's too late to announce this now, but uh, when you do donate a commercial, like, be slightly uh, aware of licensed music. I feel like I always have to trim out segments after, after on YouTube because of licensed music. I know nobody, it's not like anybody's, like, trying, but, like, the, you know what, what the James Bond theme took forever to scrub. I have no idea. Damoc, never feel bad. Never feel bad. This is this is the playground of the disposable incomies. Don't don't clip that I said cummies. For the love of God, I, I already regret that I said that. Demon whiskey, Nick. Also, thank you. A rad puppet. Aw, aw. Anyway, there it is. Hey, Z man, thank you for the Bezos bucks. Two months on the Prime sub. Thank you so much. All right. Professor Pig donated for this one first. And uh, ooh, what, was, what was that an alert for? Hey, a follow. A follow. I finally started using tags. There might be some discovery this week. Thank you. Oh. And another sub. Ah, Bezos bucks ahoy. Jeff Bezos, watch out, I'm coming for you. 
Anyway. Ah, more. Hey, another follow. Did I get raided or something? Uh, see, this is when, when uh, Fleshwife doesn't, uh, <laughs> doesn't, do, isn't up in the chat. I have, I'm so bad at keeping up with this. Ah, more. Sote with a gifted sub. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. First, first commercial of the night from Professor Pig. Here we go. It was really cool. We each got a free X-Men toy when Billy's mom bought us Hardy's Fun Meal Packs. And she knew all about the X-Men. We either got X-Men mini Marvel comics or tattoos. Oh. Or, or trading cards or cool hero caps. What? I think I had this. Maybe your mom is a mutant. Maybe. Wow. Oh, mom. Collect them all at Hardy's now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude. Dude, that poor Hey, Sonescrow, thank you for the bits. Oh, do we have a hype train? Oh, we're almost at a It's fake. It's just an emotional manipulation. We don't have to get a hype train going. Um but uh honestly, if my friend's mom turned out turned into a full mystique cosplayer at that age, psyche shattered. Just my entire sexual imprinting. Just done. That's it. I'm just looking for MILF cosplayers from that moment onward for the rest of my life. Chasing that high. That, was that too much? Was that too honest? Hope not. Let's hide in the attic. No, in the basement. Why can't we just get in the running car? Are you crazy? Let's hide behind the chainsaws. Smart. <laughs> what is this? If you're in a horror movie, you make poor decisions. That's what you do. This is a good idea. I'm being quiet. Breathing on me. If you want to save 15% or more on car insurance, you switch to Geico. It's what hilarious. Hilarious. All right. Come on, media share. Don't be weird. Happy Thor's Day, Puppet Daddy, says Jana. Hostess Cupcake. Oh, I remember this one. 1998. Good year. <laughs> Honestly, it's your fault. It's your fault for making a, for wearing a cupcake-based swimsuit. Where's the, the cream filling? <laughs> wow. Wow. It's, there's two uh, 90s era food commercials, like weird earworms that are burned into my brain. Hey, where's the cream filling? Is one of them. And the other one is from that Lunchables commercial where the one kid just yells, go get him, Nacho. For some reason. In my darkest moments, and like f at 4 a.m., in in the quiet of night, I'll just hear, "Go get him, Nacho!" And it's just my brain firing random neurons. Oh no! Deadneck says uh, a weird Japanese commercial for you, and good Lord knows they haven't made ones weirder than these. Consomme, consomme, consomme punch. Punch is not a consomme punch. Umasa ga kiite ru consomme punch. Consomme, consomme, consomme punch. Consomme, consomme, consomme punch. Punch is a consomme punch. Man, I. I'll, I'll eat the shit out of some soup-flavored potato chips. That sounds great. Oh, no. Torco donated for this one and says, from the same ad people that brought you Bust a Nut. <sighs> Here we go. Thank you for the follow. Girth Brooks, amazing name. Incredible name. Happy to have you. Welcome to Timmy's Tummy, and you are leaving. 
<laughs> He's no macho man, but my file. let me help you find it. <laughs> hey, I'm working down here. Baby <laughs> spicy bully. You're next, Pinky. <laughs> Hate me, God, God. We will, we will never recapture the disdain and aggression of '90s advertising. It really, it the past is a different country. Also, I love the idea that the premise of this ad was: if you eat Slim Jims, they will make you. They're they're bad for your guts. Hey, Slim Jims, they'll make you feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what is this? Deadneck said, in honor of Spooky Month, Snickers Halloween Grocery Store. Do I know this one? I don't know if I know this one. Hello, Mrs. Jensen. You don't have any Snickers <laughs> in your shopping cart. The neighborhood kids love Snickers on Halloween. Let me help you. This is amazing. This is incredible. I'm only helping <laughs> Snickers. We're definitely going to her house. Wildcard. Nothing satisfies like Snickers. Wildcard says it's from a few years ago, 2010, 2008, maybe. Uh, I hate to be the one to break this to you. I hate. I'm. I. It, it brings me no pleasure to inform you that 2010 is not a few years ago. 2010 is a long ass time ago. 2010, you can have a full conversation about like the meaning of God with a with someone born in 2010. <laughs> Ooh, Jurassic Park toy by Aqua Lungman. Hell yeah. Roaring back. Jurassic Park 3 with Leak Attack. Thank you for the sub, Wallabim. A pteranodon drops in for dinner, but decides on takeout instead. Our heroes get Do we have to look for the JP mark on these? And trap the bird, but T Rex crashes their party. Will our heroes escape? Are there dino damage? You decide by the hook for the mark of the rest. Yeah! This ain't no generic dinosaur toy. Roaring back. Jurassic Park 3 with react attack sounds. They fight. I had a Velociraptor toy from the first Jurassic Park movie that screamed when you uh, pulled its legs back and it let out the most horrifying ethereal wail. It was like, Aah! and the batteries on it never died. That thing just kept screaming to this modern day. Genghis John is like, I had that too. Amazing. 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 I should, I hope I didn't throw it away. It has to be buried in some closet. I got to see if the batteries are still working. Deadneck says, they haven't died. I found mine the other week. Im incredible. Incredible. <laughs> That's what velociraptors sound like in my mind. My kid still plays with the squirting Dilophosaurus. Amazing. Hey, Mrs. F, thank you for the sub over on YouTube. Uh, next up, Gingerbeard. Gingerbeard said, they played this at the Super Bowl, I think? Maybe. Thank you for the follow, Vince. Holy shit. Oh my god. This is amazing. That, well, that's just a great commercial. 
That is just an entertaining piece of business to sell beans. Oh no, what is... Vince Omni says, I never knew this had a season two. Oh my God. Did I ever do a test for this? Who's the most mischievous kid on the block? It's Junior, the world's most popular problem child. And he's back with a cast full of colorful characters bringing great fun-filled adventures and uncontrollable mayhem in four never-before-released video favorites. Problem Child, the animated series. What? Join Junior and all of his friends as they stir up some fun, turning the tables on some of the town's most unscrupulous citizens, like the always conniving school principal, Mr. Peabody, featuring the voice of comedian Gilbert Gutt. Aww. Come here, you little... The money-grubbing Big Ben. He's not a kid! He's a natural disaster! And an array of other unusual characters. So make the Problem Child animated series a part of your video family. Problem Child, the animated series from MCA Universal Home Video. Ha! Huh. Man, I, did, I kind of remember. I mean, I don't think I ever watched that show. I remember the ads for that show. It aired on, like, USA Network, right? God damn. Uh, oh, Torgo says, why tell time when you can be gross? Sly mm, mm. If I if I was the kind of person that could get away with wearing novelty toy watches from the 1990s as a sincere fashion choice and not just like an insufferable man baby choice that it would be if you saw me wearing one of these. I would do it. I would like if you saw me IRL middle-aged overweight beardo wearing one of these, you would want to punch me in the mouth. But if I was like some kind of internationally revered icon, I would wear one of these every fucking day. God, God, I love novelty 90s watches. What's the time? Farm time. What's the time? Farm time. Oh, they're so cumbersome. Oh. Slime time. Just a chunk of molded plastic with the most like cheapest little time uh what just the, the just the most inexpensive nothing timepiece that they bought from like a in mass from a factory i always actually now i'm mad now i'm mad at it see kids why the long face uh axander donated for this one and says love the show wanted to ask what vtuber program you're using i've been thinking about trying something myself also enjoy this uh, I, I'm not, I'm doing this the exact wrong way, but, uh, this is a live 2d model that I imported into animes that I'm tracking, uh, using the iPhone app and linked it to my computer. That's, that's what, that's the software that runs the puppet Jared machine. Anyway, let's see what the fuck this is. Sis, we are bored. There's nothing to do. Well, maybe this will help. Oh, no. Search and That's right, kids. Now you can make your very own Mr. Hanky. Just use this special fecal fishing net and select... Oh, Mr. shit. Then you... Okay. Uh, media share fucked up. Which it, it tends to do. It tends to do with alarming regularity. Then that means this is somebody's ad. I don't know whose. Let me just double check... Okay, I'll watch Axe Danner. I'll watch yours next, but uh, let's finish Mr. Hanky. Use the handcrafted Hanky stand to add whatever eyes, mouth, and hats you want. I made a mariachi, Mr. Hanky. Now it's a Mrs. Hanky. Let's put the fizz hat on him. I wish Daddy was still alive. Yep. There it is. All right, Axe Danner, I think this is what you wanted. Somewhere in a top secret lab, the insect has broken out of maximum security. Ooh. Its escape is inevitable. Ready to attack, its eyes change color. 
On your command, the insect transforms and strikes. That's fun. And with its pinching claws, it lets nothing stand in its way. Shooting rapid fire and single shot assaults, the insect makes its final escape. The insect vehicle from Tycho RC, each sold separately, all batteries included. The invasion has begun. $50 for those uh, slime time watches? That is, that is $48 too many. Ginger Beard donated for this one and says secret. Ooh, another. Uh, oh, man. This is gonna this is gonna blow up my copyright strikes, but here we go. Yeah, but oh wow! Do that to me. me one more time. Once is never enough. Like we do, you'll love Session's new album called Secret Love. It has forty eight Secret Love. By the original. Why does it have to be Secret Love? Huh. I don't remember this one. Where we belong. These songs really bring out the animal in some people. You also get great hits by Billy Ocean. <laughs> the and the Moody Blues. Wow. Wow. God. If I put on the Moody Blues before making love, I would be divorced. Original hits on four stereo records. Jana also keying in. Knights in White Satin. Not a good fuck jam. These are terrible. Just the slowest, awful tempo. Your choice of four records or three cassette tapes for only $19.95. Here's how to order. Credit card and COD customers call toll-free 1-800-441-1600. That's 1-800-441-1600. Or save $3 in COD fees by sending Weird. $19.95 for four records or... The rest of the... I'm Jana, you and me just genuinely shattered and befuddled at the inclusion of Knights in White Satin. <laughs> All right, let's watch two, three more of these, and then we'll move on to the next cartoon. Uh, Torgo said, uh, evidence of pre-Nickelodeon slime. Ah, and your last commercial was slime time. I'm guessing, if you're, if you're new to the stream, Torgo... A uh, wonderful supporter of the stream, a font of knowledge, always has a theme for his submissions. Every week there is a theme. Now that I'm codifying it, putting way too much pressure on you, you don't actually have to have a theme every week. But it feels like, feels like it's slime time for all of the rest of his submissions. This is a slime monster. Oh, slime runs out of his oh it's awful. This is the slime monster game where you slime the other players with the monster. This is gross. It's my turn. And sometimes they slime you. The winner gets the monster. The loser has to clean up. Oh, yuck. The slime monster game comes complete with slime compound, new from Mattel. <laughs> All right, number one, calling it the slime monster game. Very unoriginal. Very just like they had just 2 a.m. at the company meeting and they just, they were done. And also the phrase slime compound makes it sound so much more nefarious. Way more nefarious than I think it had any right to be. Like, oh yeah, it comes with slime. Great. The slime compound? Terrifying, terrifying series of words. Ooh, when potato chips try to subtly fat shame you, says Ginger Beard. What is panda cheese? Really? Wait, really? God damn it. 
Well, we gotta finish this. I'll. Also, what the fuck is panda cheese? Weird. I have no idea. Hey, thank you for the follow. Sincerely, Tara Marie. I'm glad, I'm glad you're enjoying the festivities enough to click a little button. All right. So I think this is what you actually wanted. Get free introductory jazzercise class with especially large cans of Pringles Light. Oh, my mom used to buy us Pringles Light. God, she really didn't want me to be fat, and she failed miserably. I mean, to be fair, I, I, that was mostly on me, but she tried her best. She tried the best that 90s food marketing could do to not have a fat child. Also, very key, very key, uh... By this, by 1991, we can see the apostrophe was gone from the Pringles logo, and we had already we had reached the stage where Mr. Pringle, the man ostensibly on the can, this was no longer Mr. Pringle's insane new potato chip invention. These are just snacks called Pringles. I've gone into this several times before, but I find it fascinating. Also. Enjoy your Zoa. What? What is panda cheese? What is panda cheese? Oh, okay. Okay, it's just like a laughing cow. It's a pasteurized, like, little spreadable cheese product. Now I know. Now I know, and I am finally free. All right, one last commercial, then we'll move on. To the next uh to the next cartoon hey vasty donated for this and g lord knows I, l I i still hanker every day i hanker for a hunk of cheese bang, bang, bang. <laughs> oh howdy partner time for timer do you ever get that hungry feeling after school boy i do i'm so hungry i could eat a wagon wheel when I'm slow on the draw and I need something to chaw, I hanker for a hunk of cheese. <laughs> when my ten gallon hats are feeling five gallons flat, I got something planned, which is little cheese sandwiches. Come on. Here's a great little snack to tide you over till dinner. If you want something delicious and nutritious, cheese is a super snack. Look, a wagon wheel. When my get up and go has got up and went, I hanker for a hunk of cheese. When I'm dancing, I hold down and my boots kind of slow down, or any time I'm weak in the knees. I hanker for a hunk of, a slab or slice a chunk of, a snack or day is a winner, and yet- Wait, they actually made full-length animated special starring Timer? Really? Weird. Weird. Uh, the right size of cheese, like the best possible size of cheese to eat is big enough that when you take a bite, you can see an impression of your teeth in it. Anything smaller is an underwhelming amount of cheese. I will stand by this. I will stand by this forever. Anyway, anyway, it's time for the next cartoon. Uh, this is a new one. This was, a. Uh, I think it was, I, I'm like 90% sure it was Farstar who brought this to my attention. And I'm like kind of excited because I, you know, when someone suggests something, usually it's kind of disappointing because I have to do the copyright check and it's just, you know, it's just, you, it just doesn't pass muster. It gets blocked and I got to be like, ah, sorry. But this one was suggested and... Uh, it passed. It passed the copyright check. So let me just double check. Let me just double check. Yeah, Farstar uh, tried this one. It is a Canadian hybrid live action CGI show. So like the
the same wheelhouse that brought us vampires. I'm very excited. Here we go. It's episode one of Zix. Episode one of Zix. We are the great Hargok Empire. Our forces are growing, and soon all the galaxy will again tremble before us. Why don't you just give it up, D? Zix! I assume you're surrendering? Foolish girl, you cannot win! We're on a mission. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. All right, hold on. Hold on. This is hitting the ground running. Let me just double check what the fuck this. I like. A Canadian television series that aired on YTV. A mixture of live action sequences interspersed with computer generated sequences from 2004. This is 2004. And I feel like they blasted through a lot of vital backstory real fast. So uh, let's try this again from the beginning. We are the great Hargok Empire. Our forces are growing and soon all the galaxy will again tremble before us. Why don't you just give it up, D? Six. I assume you're surrendering? Foolish girl, you cannot win. We're on a mission. The clock is ticking on it. Deep will stop at nothing. I need your help. We have is the bad guy's name Deke? Is is the bad guy's name Deke? Because if so, A, haha ha dick joke, and B, Deke like the animation company? That's kind of nuts. We have to find the portal into the keep. The keep's like a game, right? If you die in here, it's game over. If you die in the game, you... I mean, we can't say die for real because it's a children's show, but you get it. You get it. I'm good at the games where I can restart them when I die. Defeating Deep is the first step. The fate of the galaxy depends on us. Here we go. I'm kind of scared. Fade in. A hobo is eating trash. <laughs> a cultist attacks him. I don't have nothing. Unless he was one in this. <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't me. She, uh, I, 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 see, I'm, 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 she, oh, uh, she, she, she's, 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 she's there. She's, she's everywhere. I, I, I don't know. Uh, that human reeks worse than a Regalian cat. Ugh. Gox to help him out. Be nice now. I don't know nothing. I, I don't know nothing at all. Let me go. You heard the man. Don't make this any harder on yourselves than you have to, boys. Can the chatter? Let's vaporize them. What? Stay here. Right here. <laughs> here. Left here. Come back, you dirty gox. Gox? What? A portal. I can't believe it. We found a portal at last. Now I can finally ditch this pack. Yeah, baby! Ooh, that's it. Armor up and put those legs a stretch. Was that a Sailor Moon transformation? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna see that sequence like 800 times an episode, right? In one piece? One beautiful piece. You? All here. Ready, partner? Ready, steady. So, uh, as you can tell, they're definitely using the literary technique in media wrong, in which you start us in the middle of an active story, but the story kind of sucks, and that was a bad idea. Then in the name of the network, let's go! Basement level. Figures. Nowhere to go but up. Got a lock on our gox. Let's move. 
They escape and tell their leaders about that old man. The universe is in deep doo-doo. I know. Come here, you! They're getting away! Nuts! Two-stage lock? Probably. Let's see. Nothing on thermal scan. Negative infra green. And ion scope turns up. Wait! Wait! There it is! <laughs> Did you. That was. Somebody was playing a lot of Metroid Prime before, <laughs> before they made this episode. That was. Yeah, just uh, scanning aimlessly and toggling. Yeah, that was just a Metroid Prime puzzle. I assume you're surrendering. Guess not. Have it your way. <laughs> Why bother condensing them, kid? It's not like we can ship them off to jail in the next mail pouch. The network will find us someday, Flango. Now it's back through the portal to collect our smelly friend. Can't wait. Hey, what have we here? A shield generator. This could come... They're literally... They're lit. This somebody played a bunch of Metroid. This is like how an eight-year-old writes TV. Like when I was eight years old and playing a bunch of video games, every story I wrote was basically, "Wouldn't this be cool as a video game?" But I I can't make a video game, so I'm telling a story about a cool video game I wish I was playing. This is like a child's understanding of storytelling. Come in handy. He's gone. You say that like it's a bad thing. Personally, my nostrils are grateful. That's enough, Flango. <laughs> and we got our first I Love Barnyard Commandos of the stream. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nowhere else to go, there's nothing else to do. Can I help you? Help me. I can't help you. Do you know my mom? <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is amazing. He just showed him a crystal, and this kid was just like, do you know my mom? Can I help you? Help me. I can't help you. Do you know my mom? <laughs> Whatever you do, Adam, don't let them find you. Wait, how do you know my name? Come back! Everything okay, Adam, honey? Is your uncle taking good care of you? I hope so. Eating your broccoli, yes. Um, I won't be much longer. I should be home in a week, and I'm so glad. <laughs> I think some of the workers have been talking about the artifacts, and people have been asking questions. It's distracting. Well, that's about it around here, and I can't wait to get. Thank you, YTV distracting logo thingy. Hey, lights out, little buddy. Hey, Uncle Murray. Whoa. This dude landed that hot archaeologist lady? What is this? Look at this schlub. That's the dad? Oh, god damn. God damn, dude. Well done. Hey, Uncle Murray. Oh, it's the uncle. It's the uncle. Makes sense. I got excited. As, uh, again, as a middle-aged bald fat man... I was very excited. <laughs> Canadian 10. Oh, jeez. You know, I, I wish you wouldn't. It's been two years, Adam. You, you gotta move on. You're messing yourself up watching these tapes all the time, making yourself believe that, well, you know. You know your, your teachers are getting worried. Mrs. Pike called about your geography essay. Yeah, but what I wrote was true. Extraterrestrials did steal whale meat from an Inuit hunting party. Uh, yeah, well, you know, whatever. But you gotta move on, Adam. You know? 
This is bog standard Canadian TV acting. But you know, it's it's like I always say, you know, when when the going gets tough, the tough gotta go. <laughs> Great uncle advice. Thanks, Uncle Murray. It's really uh helpful. Yeah, well, you know, it's uh, it's always good to talk, Adam. Always good to talk. Uh, good night. Yep, sharing hot mom pictures. Mm-hmm. It's proof they're all around us. Oh well, yeah, like some crazy old guy giving you a drink as proof that we're surrounded by aliens. Logic, Griff. Logic. My mother was investigating an ancient meteor crater, and she found artifacts. So the meteor was probably a spaceship. Probably. As usual, no fact. Well, if the artifacts were alien, they would have abducted her so she couldn't show the world. Yeah, but, yeah, and then some crazy old guy who knows my name shows up with one of the artifacts and says, don't let them find you. That proves that weird stuff's going on. <laughs> hey, Adam, ah, play the... Oh, just had a cold. I couldn't help but notice that you were doing exposition. A shrink? You're kidding, right? Me? Two words, Adam. Mrs. Pike. My appointment's today after school at Moorville High School, just a couple of blocks from your school. Hey, don't miss it. But there's nothing wrong with me. Well, then it should be a quick visit. <laughs> Shrink? That's crazy. You gotta admit, you've been pushing the aliens stuff pretty hard lately. <laughs> Snake out stink. Why don't we go in there and clean the place up? Because it's a high school. We can't tell the dogs from the humans. Zap them now. Sort them out later. <laughs> Flango. That name's Death. Perfect. I get a shrink named Dr. Death. Sir Redwall, I'm sorry. Did you say you're on a fishing boat in Mexico? You're on a you're you're on an actual adventure and you're watching this right now? What? It's come this is weirder than the perverts who watch me in the shower. Go enjoy your vacation. That's insane. I, I mean, I, the wonders of technology that you can watch me watch a bad Canadian show from across international waters. But dude, dude, Sir Redwall. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is impressive. 56th Mouse says, I'm at two hotel suites in Cincinnati. I mean, kind of impressive. Less impressive than Mexican fishing boat, but still. Please confirm. I am reading. I am reading. Vince Omni, thank you for the donation. No pants gang right. I mean, you don't have to wear pants. You don't have. I would, I would encourage it strongly, but there's no pants requirement to watch the stream. It's deep. Anyway. This kid has to see a psychologist, and frankly, I agree. Dr. D. It'll be cool. Just don't start blabbing about aliens and you'll be okay. See you tomorrow. Yeah. They know? How can they know? They're just kids. Dr. D. Don't just stand there, Adam. Come in. Sit down. It's kind of dark in here. Most of my patients find it relaxing. Don't you find it relaxing? You know what? At this point, if you are wearing pants, let me know. I feel like, I feel like it might be mostly non-pants, if by judging by the chat. Ooh, a 32. God damn, Sir Redwall. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yellowfin tuna is the best tuna, man. Ah, oh, enjoy that, man. God. Like, really fresh tuna is, like, sexually delicious. <laughs> Video's not loading, but I see the chat. Makes sense. Makes sense. Relaxing. Uh, yeah. 
Sure. Your teachers say you're a bright boy, but constantly distracted by your rich fantasy life, centering around the abduction of your mother by aliens. It's not a fantasy. <laughs> More crystal bullshit. It's not all that unusual. Huh? What? Fantasy life. Most boys your age have one. Jesus. This is only slightly less upsetting than my own school counselor. Just don't let it get out of hand. Try sports. That always helps. Sports, that's it? Yes. I favor ping pong myself. You can go. Weird. I said go! Lola Frosty, you're, you might be onto something with that guy uh, covered in shadow being the bad guy. Somebody's been here. No! <gasps> Mom's My crystal's gone! <laughs> Great. Uh. My mom's gonna be really mad. You're not listening. I'm listening. This deep guy hypnotized you or something. Made you tell him about the crystal. Then he stole it from you. My mom's still gonna be mad I sneaked out. Thief is an alien for sure. We're gonna expose him. This is a weird looking school. This is what Floridians actually believe happens in public that? schools. Yeah, one of them's got the crystal. Hey! Oh, do they get <laughs> boy powers activate Hello! by the power of cyber boys? What are we? These are awful designs. These are terrible. Look at this. Like, like, God. Just generic nothing. Just, just blah. 2000, this came out in 2004. What was like, all right, so we know 2004 video games. Wow, I can't type. I literally, I have dummy fat fingers. Half-Life 2, Halo, Halo shit, Doom 3, World of Warcraft. Okay, so just like, just bullshit, nothing Halo designs. Wearing some kind of power suit with a heads-up display. There's controls, inventory, Metroid Prime. everything. Like a game. Next question, where are we? I don't know, but I'm getting my crystal. <laughs> Stop. I'm glad they escaped the boring real world in that nondescript basement so they could enter the exciting cyber world of this nondescript basement. Stop. Comrade, you said this looks like a machinima, and this is a machinima. Uh, season two, this is what I learned in a quick wiki dive before we watched. Season two was animated by Mainframe, the go-to Canadian CG television studio. This first season was rendered entirely in the Lithtech engine, which was like uh, the poor man's game engine of the time. It's, yeah, it's super dumb. It's super dumb. What games use the Lithtech engine? I forget. It wasn't the Quake engine. It was if you couldn't afford the Quake engine or the Unreal engine, use the Lithtech engine. Ah, stupid, stupid. Three seasons. This got three seasons. You sure it's them? Open that door. I'm sure. It's like uh, ah! Tell me we're not being chased by hundreds of metal spiders. Okay. But we are. Honestly? Honestly? That, um... That's like Marvel-level writing. 
That was that was literally that was like that was some 2012 quality writing right there. Tell me we're not being chased by hundreds of metal spiders. Okay, but we are. Well, that was convenient. Well, well, well. Should have stuck the ping pong at him. Ping pong? Get them! Run for it! <laughs> 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 This is too easy. Whoa! Had to get cocky, didn't you? Good thing we found that shield generator. Just a video game. Back to the portal, quick! Step on it, kids. It's kind of hot in here. Door, please. Got it. <laughs> are you? And who are those guys? And what were those cool suits? And where were we? Some kind of trans-dimensional hyperspace war? You've been reading too much science fiction. It's a trans-dimensional anti-matter field. Uh, that was going to be my next guess. Yeah, right. What? Uh, and the guy zapping us? Let's just call them the bad guys. And you? Good guys. Yeah. I'm the cool older girl who will teach you the ways of the world. Don't worry, though. This isn't the writer's uh, subdued sexual fantasy through eight layers of coping. Yeah, but what are you? I'll ask the questions. Why were you two snooping around in there anyway? I think Dr. Deeth has the crystal my mom found. Your mom? Is she Anna Frake, the archaeologist? You've heard of her? No. Take my advice. Just forget everything that happened today. Are you kidding? Ciao, fellas. Nice saving you. I'm feeling really depressed. Me too. <laughs> she totally blew us off. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to visit Dr. Deeth again tomorrow. You really think this is a good idea? If he's in his office, we'll just say we made a mistake. He won't try anything with lots of other people around the school. Gotta be somebody here. Anyway, his office is just here. Wump bum bum. Sure it did. <laughs> Z-Man, they are absolutely in the back rooms. Canada is 80% back rooms. That's just a fun fact about the country I know. It's gotta be him. It's gotta be. The glasses look the same. Anybody can wear glasses. Well, okay. But he had a silver chain on, like the one Deeth was holding. Lots of guys wear silver chains. They do? Whatever. We've gotta get in that office. I just don't know how. Well, we could hide out somewhere in the school until night, then... Forget I said that. God damn, white teeth. Is, is this what it was like watching children's television in Canada? Just every five seconds, a little goobble gobble just distracts the fuck out of you with the logo of the network you're watching. Like, it's one thing to just, like, pop it out on the side just as a network ID, but to just, like, have it actually flail in the foreground. It's terrible. Look up. In here. Followed us. No, it's only the janitor. Shh. Great. Now we're really stuck. <laughs> wait, wait. Was that a watching a janitor eat a sandwich montage? You could, you could just have them not watch the janitor eat a sandwich. You're making the show. You can just choose not to do that. I'm sure this is Deeth's office. What are we looking for? Alien stuff. Looks like ordinary principal stuff to me. Yeah. 
Maybe we made a mistake. That's putting it mildly. You two are in serious trouble. Are you gonna disintegrate us? Disintegrate you? Hmm, good idea. But the school board wouldn't approve. No. I'm gonna turn you over to the authorities for vandalism. We didn't vandalize anything. Mm-hmm, because I happened to arrive in time. Oh, we got lost. We were just looking for a way out. Oh, you don't expect me to believe that, do you? He's right. There's always a way out. Look, stop! <laughs> God damn, that principal's out of shape. Well, you might as well come out. That's a dead end. Very well. What? Adam, gotta hang here a while. May as well check it out. I don't know. What? Do we want to see what these suits can do? Let's go! Uh... The idea that... Wait. All right. You, you don't... You, we don't, you don't need me to pick apart what was wrong with that scene. Yeah, Aqua Lung Man, I am... I am also... I don't know... I don't know the future of this show. I because it's like it's bad, but it's not like insane bad. It is bad for reasons that I can uh, accurately and consistently understand. Which way? Guess it doesn't matter as long as we mark our way back. And I think I see a graffiti marker in my inventory. Oh, good. He has sprays. Yes. Good work. This really is like a game. This place is called Sinestro. D you have friends. You have physical friends. That means stop watching weird internet friend watch cartoons. That's what that means. Say hi to friends. Enjoy yourself. I demand you turn me off. Creepy. But man, can I ever move fast in this thing? Ah! Gotcha. Oh, thanks. The gas looks deadly. Yeah, let's get our butts home. When you go back in there, we'll have to start making a map. So we don't go around it. You okay? Yeah, it's just I know I'm going to hate myself for this. What's there. happening? The heating system? Oh yeah, so behind there. And then when no Matt terrible acting central chamber with tunnels radiating out this one ends I got that weird green gas maybe yeah this one must lead to the portal so that must mean the janitor is He's right behind you <gasps> the janitor was in on it I think you've earned another visit to the keep the keep <laughs> so are you like the evil empire who wants to rule the universe don't be absurd. We're the great Hargok Empire. We once ruled the universe, and we'll rule again. Is that different? We're not evil. We're just good administrators. The evil ones were the Ganth. They defeated our great leader, Ankalon, centuries ago. <laughs> Gibberish. The great leader, Agabagabagabubagibal. Ah, yes. Let me tell you the great history of our people. For we were from the Bliplorp Empire, and then we defeated the Gibble Gabbles, and then our leader Garblegok. The keep was their fortress until they abandoned it. So that other alien, the girl, is she again? Now Ankalan is regenerating. Our forces are growing. <laughs> Soul to XL. The universe will again tremble before us. And you think you are the good guys? Silence. That crystal you're holding belongs to my mother. Actually, it belonged to the Gath. Your mother just happened to find it. What did you do to her? Throw them in the trench. I'll see you on the outside. Guys, seriously, guys. Hey, come on, don't do this. You boys just can't stay out of trouble, can you? <laughs> I told 
you this place was dangerous. Wait, is your friend? So scary. Ah, oh, he's fine. And I think it's doing something to my suit. You gotta get me out of here. He's got thirty seconds. Thirty seconds until what? Until the acid eats through his suit. Then you can drink him through a straw. Jesus! I can't reach him. Sorry about your friend. Help me! I can't breathe. I'm burning up. I'm here, Adam. I'll help you. You'll only fall in yourself. He's my friend. I have to try. Can you reach my hand? Not too far. Careful, Griff. Not too far. You. No. Grab my hand. We don't have much time. Got him. <laughs> Thanks, Griff. And thank you, Zix. Zix Funky Z. Thanks, Zix. My partner Flame. She's the Zix. She's Zix. She's the title character. Mango. Perfect. Now we can all be friends. Why do you stay in her backpack? Because otherwise, the stinking air. Funky Z. Thank you. And we don't have much time. I'm sorry. I need to hear what the dinosaur's name is. Got him. <laughs> Thanks, Griff. And thank you, Zix. Zix Funky Z. Zinx Funky Z. I mean, there's worse names. I kind of like it. It's got rhythm. Thanks, Zix. My partner, Flango. <laughs> Flango. <laughs> Uh, who said Rick and Morty writers? This is real ass Rick and Morty metal nerd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Now we can all be friends. Why do you stay in her backpack? Because otherwise, the stinking air on your stinking planet rots my stinking lungs. Now you two go home and stay home. Okay. I now have both the crystal and the base that houses it. My power grows. But you're still ugly. <laughs> Easy. Fun's over, Deep. Give it up. This artifact is vital. Your mission is doomed without it. But you're doomed anyway. It's it's legit machinima. Cut off from the network. Yeah, so? You have no backup. You have no weapons. And nothing will save you now! Hey! Uh, uh, hey over here! Uh, I thought I sent you boys home. Crystal base. Now way out. Keycard. Yes. What? Don't let him go. Video game ass bullshit. <laughs> this is this is insane. This is insane. This is dumb and stupid and crazy. So we're this is like uh, Inuyasha bullshit. The MacGuffin crystal just got shattered into a, a bunch of pieces. And the rest of the season is them trying to recollect them all, right? Yeah, so? You have no backup. You have no... Hey! Uh, uh, over here! I thought I sent you boys home. Crystal base. Now way out. Key card. Yes. Key card. Jesus. Don't let him go. A crystal. He's going to say no. Everybody get ready. He's going to say no. No! <laughs> Vermin! Leave those crystal fragments alone! No! <laughs> A second no! A second no! So no! No! <laughs> no opening anywhere. We can't even locate the card slot. We can't follow him. Guess we're done for the day. And I guess I have to thank you. Thank us? Thank them? You're killing me, Six. Meanwhile, back in boring ass Canada. Yeah, they're all gone. Evolved into creatures of light. Cool. Yes, but they didn't bother to leave us any information about the keep, and they kept all their weapons in there. The Hargoks get them first. Let's just say the universe will be an ugly place to live. Oh, and that crystal might be a key to something. 
Which is why we have to get it back from D. So what do we do next? You go home and forget any of this ever happened. No way. I'll admit you got lucky, but that's not going to happen again. Do you want to be gawk food? No, but... Gawk but food. Forget it. It's over. Bye. Bye, bye. So that's it? It's over? Not quite. <gasps> He's got a shard of the MacGuffin crystal. And it's over. And it's over. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy the shit. Green. That was a lot to process. How are we feeling, everybody? Let's talk about it. Let's do a little rap session, all right? Because I don't know how to feel about that. So we have a lot of... Okay, so from the get-go, we had a homeless man eating a sandwich out of the trash. Great start. Great start. And then we had... Uncle Gunkle talking about how our main character is upset about his dead mom who got kidnapped by aliens or some shit. And then just the worst, the worst computer animation I've ever seen in my life. But we got like the cool older, we got Samus Arong and her boy squad fighting Mig... I'd be willing to give this another shot. I would be willing to give this another shot. Maybe I'll pre-watch the second episode and see if it picks up. Right? Z-Man kind of... Z-Man is capturing my emotions right now. That was crazy, and I kind of want to see more. I feel dirty. Like, I shouldn't want to see more. But I kind of want to see more. Like, what? Are, how are they going to make, like, what, how are they making episodic TV out of this? Also, I don't know why the music is so bad right now. There we go. There's, like, a lot to hate, but a lot to love. Like, the bad animation is fascinating. The bad acting is fascinating. The the expo dumps. The gibberish writing. If they keep reusing the no I'm in, says Torgo. Stockholm Syndrome. It's not Stockholm Syndrome. Lolo, Fr the girl is great. She's great. She is the ultimate 2000s manic pixie warrior god that every nerdy thing had to include. Should we check out the second season? So yeah, each season was its own level. This was Zix level one. Then Zix level two and three had a different animation company. I'm not, I just wanna see what the animation looks like. Oh, it's already a huge step up. Or is it? Or is it? Huh. Uh, oh, no. Oh, it's bad. Oh, that's not... Still using the Metroid Prime school of storytelling. This is weird. This is so weird. I mean, Cubix was also, yeah, it's in the Cubix zone. Maybe a once in a while, a once in a while kind of ice, like a, just kind of a palate cleanser. I don't know. I don't know. Definitely, definitely got more going on than Cubix. A less coherent reboot, maybe. This is fascinating. This is, like, I don't know if it makes good, like, hashtag content, 
but this is genuinely fascinating. They're still in a nondescript basement. That's bad. Don't appreciate that they're still in just more nondescript cyber basements. Why do you confound me so, Zix? Why? I'm gonna have to mull on this. Obviously, if you wanna contribute to the discussion or sway me, uh, you can always send a message or a tweet to at uh, Puppet Jared on Twitter. But yeah, yeah, this is giving me something to chew on. This is genuinely, this is a chin scratcher. In the meantime, while we figure this out, it's more commercial time. Commercials, you know them, you love them. They're the things we watch because you paid to watch them. Let's let's uh let's let's give these uh let's give these a look see. Media share, don't be weird. Media share, there you go. Oh, hurry up, man. Boss is coming in. Dude, almost got it. Hey guys, finished testing that game yet? I've got another one I need designed. We just finished level three and need to tighten up the graphics a little oh, bit. Oh, a classic. Hey, I can't believe we got jobs doing this. I know. And my mom said I would never get anywhere with these games. Call Westwood College online. Awful. 800 914 8582. That's 914 8582. Call now. And uh, I, I know for a fact Media Share fucked up for this one. So, uh, because this is what was actually supposed to show up. Soul to Excel, I look forward to seeing it. This is a good ass ad. It like actually captures the idea of the game. This is the exact opposite of the Bioshock Infinite cinematic trailer where they just threw in a bunch of bullshit that never happens. Wait, what did you call Spooky Dave? Spooky Dave, what did you call? Yeah, 2007. It's an old-ass game. Torgo continuing with his slime train. Here we go. What is Jack? Jack is great stuff. Oozy. <laughs> Jack is dripsy. You can pull it. Make Jack sound. How true. Suck it up and squirt it up with a gag back. Oh, the Gak Vac! Well, I never. Nickelodeon Gak comes in different colors, sizes, and play sets. Each sold separately. Coming soon from Mattel. Disgusting. Incredible. Ooh. Why are they whispering, says uh, Vince Omni. All right. This is very unprofessional, and I don't want to do this, but Flesh Wife is out, so... I'm going to play this commercial and run to the bathroom and pee. I, dear God, I'm sorry. The alien invasion has begun, and it's up to the five of us to stop them. Animorphs, Transformers. The evil Visser 3 is leader of the Yerks. He can morph from evil Anzalite to infernal creature with grasping claws and firing jaws. But we can change, too, into any animal we touch. And when heroic axe changes into a scorpion... Visser 3 is gonna get stung. To save the human race, we pounce like animals. You can make the change. Animorphs. Each sold separately. 
Transformers. Oh my God, oh my God. I'm using hand sanitizer at my desk. Didn't even have time to flush. All right, I'm back. No chaos, no chaos, I'm back. Nice try, nice try. Whew. Okay, just letting the alcohol on the hand sanitizer. Whew. There was no time to flush. There was no time to flush. Uh, ginger beard. Submitted for this one from 1964 and says, file this under self-fulfilling prophecy. Your squad is ready for you to- Wow. With Johnny 7 OMA, you charge. Fire grenade. Bullseye for Johnny 7. Watch out, tank. Fire any armor shell. Fire anti-tank rocket. Hmm. Johnny Seven's got him on the run. Johnny Seven fires bullets like a rifle. Huh. Fires like a Tommy gun. Now it's a cap firing pistol. You've won. That's a lot of guns. One man army gun. It's seven guns in one. Let's count them. One is a grenade launcher. Two anti-armor gun. Three anti-tank gun. Four bullet firing. Rifles. So many guns. Tommy gun. Six anti-bunker gun, seven cap-firing pistol. There's no other gun like it. To be sure, look for Johnny Seven, OMA, the one-man army by Topper. I wonder... I've, I've talked about this in the past. I have been, like, ever since we did the uh, Nerf episode, I have been, like, slightly obsessed with the world of, like, high-performance and modified Nerf guns. I wonder if that fired any harder than like a standard elite dart these days. I don't know. It didn't look that great. Maybe you could change out the springs, maybe up the uh replace it with a 2S lipo. Maybe not. Uh more slime from Torgo. Here we go. Slime alert, slime alert. Are overflowing and slime is erupting all over the universe. <laughs> mindless, mindless, and now it's free. Something about the phrase slime is erupting across the universe is just beautiful to me. I just found that incredibly enthralling as, as a phrase. Free, free when you buy any two Masters of the Universe figures, get a free can of slime at participating stores until May 31st. Orange. Slime, a free gift from Hordak. Will you get it before it gets you? Would you believe? Wait. Another tour go and says a toy that violates the Geneva Convention. Anyone for special soup? Oh no! Raphael's in the clutches of the evil foot. <laughs> More slime. Will the turtle cycle make it in time? Will Raphael be destroyed by the retro mutagen ooze? Well, I don't know. What a shot! The double-barreled plunger gun saves the day again. And with their retro catapult, the turtles are giving the foot some of their own medicine. Anyone remember where we parked? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. From Playmate. Delightful. Man. Toxic Crusaders toy commercial. This one's from Vince Omni. The tagline is what now, says Vince Omni? Oh, no. Crusaders. The Toxic Crusaders have two new members. Junkyard, a mutation with a taste for doggy bones. Wow. And Headbanger, half mad scientist, half party animal. They've joined to keep Dr. Killamoff and Psycho, his cybernetic sidekick with a bionic brain, from polluting and conquering the Earth. Also, because good guys get the babes. You don't have to be toxic to be popular, but it helps. 
<laughs> they're gross but they still get girls honestly honestly you could do worse you could do worse for catchphrases <laughs> amazing torco once again with something that i assume is filled with uh viscous gels otherwise known as slime it's the real Ghostbusters Firehouse playset. Segment, our firehouse is haunted. No way. Oh, no. I've been gooped. Ding, ding, Ghosts ding, ding, at the ding, stadium. Ding, ding, the real Ghostbusters, each sold separately, assembly required. Hey, buddy, see anything weird? It's Tombstone Tackle. Don't lose your head. Take a hike. There's a policeman. Oh, no. It's a cop. I can't believe my eyes. Whoa. I think I had all of those Ghostbusters with the freaky faces. I think I had those. Uh, Torgo again, again with a slime promotion. Uh, this one for Monster Blood, and Torgo's comment is Goosebumps Dog Voice. Arf, 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 arf. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't say it right. Uh, arf, 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 arf. There we go. That's that. Uh, that's what Goosebumps Dogs say. Behold, one hour of Goosebumps. Monster Blood! It's green. Help! It's mean. Stay. And it's growing. Ah! Experience the only one hour Goosebump special next Saturday at 9 a.m. on Fox Kids. It's the one and only scare. Perfect. Perfect and wonderful. God, it's just all Torgo all the time with even, would you believe, more slime-based advertising. Uh, Torgo says, don't put Moss Man in this. Don't put Moss Man in this. From the masters of the universe, Hordak reveals the most gruesome trap ever. Welcome to the slime pit. The what? The slime pit. Now, Spike, or you're my slave, not the slime. Yes, my slime. <laughs> the evil horde slime pit new from the masters of the universe you put it together take your soul separately from Mattel. man toy companies just went nuts for polymers they just loved their goddamn polymers uh and the last commercial for this block is from papango who says it's a slapping good time Interesting, interesting. What could this be? Uh, huh? Oh. Ah! <laughs> you, you. He's got a bro. Go again. Okay. Ah! There you go. go. I think it's all in the neck. Do it one more time. What is this an ad for? New Zealand accents always charming. He seems mean. Nick agility, no. yeah. pills. What? Nick agility. Yes. Your last man? Go yeah, you try it. Nah. Go on. Try again. Go. Harder, bro. You need to do it harder. Can you do it? Go and do mine again, then. Okay. <laughs> kind of funny. Yeah. No. It sounded hard. Sharpen yeah. up. No. Lift plus. What? What was that an ad for? Lift plus? I gotta Google that. New Zealand Lift Plus. Is it an energy drink? Lift plus ad. Always funny to watch. And yeah, it's just an energy drink. It's an energy drink. All right. Okie dokie. Whew. Hmm. What's. N oh, my God. You know what? You know what? I see a three pack of Torgo slime commercials already in the queue. Let's just get him out. Of the let's just get let's just get our slimes just out of the. Let's just get. Let's just purge ourselves of the slime.
What? Why is there no audio? What is what is happening? What is come on, media share. Don't be gross. You know what? You know what? We're just we're just going straight to YouTube for these ones. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Oh, oh, no. Oh, I think my Internet connection's funky. Um, if the stream dies in the next five minutes. Uh, sorry. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. DNS address could not be found? Uh-oh. Oopsie fuck. Yikes. Big yikes. Um Don't ah uh, see this is what this is why I should never have cable internet. Hmm. 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 Oh shit, YouTube is down. Is Twitch okay? Twitch is fine. Or no, even Twitch is acting a little weird. Oh shit. Shit. Shit shit. I got my modem all gunked up with slime. All right, so people in YouTube chat say it's okay, but my video feed is Oh no, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. I don't know what happened there. I don't know why that I, I okay, I think we're all right. I think we're all right. Torgo, one of your ads got eaten up by the monster by known as Media Share. But at the very least, here, let us enjoy this. Smooth. Yeah, I know something scary. Cavity. Time to brush. Oh, um, Mom. Hey, Mom got a slime of toothpaste. Ooh. This animation is very weird. This is very weird animation. Ooh. Yeah, I know something scary. Cavity. Time to brush. Oh, um, Mom. Hey, Mom got a slime of toothpaste. Ooh. It's, it's <laughs> slime. Let's play cavity buster. <laughs> this is like CDI ass animation. Ready? Let's brush. <laughs> no. Nugatron, you literally beat me to the punch. Bubble gum fluoride toothpaste available at Target, Osco, Save on Stop and Shop, and Finest. I should talk to an actual professional animator. Like, what does it mean when something is CDI esque? What is that like? What am I actually seeing when I'm like, hey, this reminds me of Zelda CDI? You know what I mean? There's definitely some like something's weird with the timing. On your mark, get set, go. Yes, it's slime time. The messiest half hour in television. Knock off Double Dare? It's school against school with students and teachers doing the messiest stunts the law allows. Just wait till you But that was Mark Summers, right? It all happens each week on Slime Time. Sunday at 8. On your mark. No, wait. It's knockoff Mark Su Mark Winters. The evil twin of Mark Summers. Get set. Go. Yes, it's slime time. The messiest half hour in television. No, I'm sorry. No, it's not. No, yep. Going everywhere. <laughs> it's school against school with students and teachers doing the messiest. Weird. We have Double Dare at home. It all happens each week on Slime Time. Sunday at 8, here on Channel 9. Fascinating. Fascinating. Anyway, sorry about that technical hiccup. I, uh, but, hey. Hey, it's time for the last cartoon of the night. And it is, as, as demanded by you, the audience... And provided by the fine people at the Jewel Writers Archive. Did, 
I talked about this last week. The site we usually use for pirated cartoons, I don't know why they did this, but they have Russian dubs on these episodes of Sky Surfers. And it's hilarious, but it's unwatchable. The mysterious explosion so we can't watch it on the usual site, but thankfully, thankfully, the Jewel Writers Archive has also reposted these cartoons. So it's time for Sky Surfers, episode 10, The Dogs of Doom. The Dogs of Doom. Uh, hold on, just adjusting the old aspect ratio. There we go. When a mysterious explosion destroys an artificial intelligence lab, Adam Hollister is framed. His son, Jack Hollister, sets out to prove his father's innocence, that someone else had caused the explosion and had stolen an experimental computer brain. Merging it with his own brain, he transforms into the master criminal known as Cybron. Oh my god, wait. Wild card. Is this your first exposure to Sky Surfers? Oh, oh I'm jealous. Oh, I'm jealous of you. All right, well... I'm sorry for, for blowing past the opening. The uh, opening 15 seconds has a lot of very necessary backstory. Oh, 49. Interesting. Goddamn. Goddamn, wildcard. Look at you, 49 on Twitch.tv. Good for you. Honestly, good for you. Anyway... Uh, please pay very close attention to the next 15 seconds. When a mysterious explosion destroys an artificial intelligence lab, Adam Hollister is framed. His son, Jack Hollister, sets out to prove his father's innocence, that someone else had caused the explosion and had stolen an experimental computer brain. Merging it with his own brain, he transforms into the master criminal known as Cybron. To fight Cybron and his evil Bioborgs, Jack Hollister becomes Sky Surfer 1, leader of the Sky Surfer Strike Force. <laughs> Gingerbeard, holy shit, what did you just drop in the chat? What is this wall? When a, okay, when a mysterious cyber brain destroys an artificial. Oh my god. How did you have that ready to go? I'm not even mad, I'm impressed. <laughs> when a mysterious explosion. Ah, <laughs> uh, Mixic, also amazing. Wally, you asked, is Cybron his dad? They have never confirmed it, but I will believe it immediately. Gingerbread says, I've had it for weeks. Incredible. Incredible. <sighs> anyway, Scott. Oh God. I'm like, I'm delirious. This isn't the tequila talking. I definitely didn't put the bottle on the desk because I knew Fleshwipe wouldn't be able to help uh, refill me. I'm definitely not a drunk, weird, middle-aged man uh, just giggling to himself about Sky Surfers. Goddamn. Crazy stunts. Sore loser. The Sky Surfer Strike Force. Michael Marr. Nugatron. Sore. Soar, because he's because he flies, because he's a sky surfer. S O A R loser. He's a sore loser. Still a terrible name, but it almost makes sense. This is a North Bay maximum security prison in San Francisco, where you will break out the following prisoners. Kishiro Iwakura. Martial Arts Black Belt, Arbitrage, Explosive Specialist, Lions, Expert Tracker, and Claude Renoir. A crazy Frenchman, but useful. He's <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, this episode. 
this episode starting off amazingly. Amazingly. Oh my god. We got our martial arts expert, our explosives expert, and a French guy. Incredible. Incredible. Oh, I need to hear that again. I need to hear that again. Oh, I'm so happy we're watching this. I am so jazzed. I am jazzed the fuck up. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Kishiro Iwakura, martial arts black belt, arbitrage, explosive specialist, lion, expert tracker, and Claude Renoir. A crazy Frenchman, but useful. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Who is Michael Marr? Who is Michael Marr? Somebody in chat uh, Google this man. I, I feel there's already something special in the air. Genius with computers. You can't miss him. He has a wooden leg. Why help Cybron install his computer brain? Someone had to. Someone who knew computers like my father. I did my homework. Renoir is one of the best in the world. If he was on Cybron's payroll, he'll know his real identity. And I'll know who killed my father. That's the first signal. Take out the guards, Nelchus. Oh, Grenader. Watch out for Renoir. He's very dangerous. So am I. <laughs> we need to talk. My apologies, but I have to fly. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Hitting the ground fucking running with this episode. an account called Claude Renoir Crazy Frenchman. Who's got the time and the means to do this? Sky Surfer was an unpleasant surprise. I see your meeting didn't go well. It just started. This, uh, yours? Sky Surfer, the legend falls. If this works, I got him. If not, real dumb. <laughs> Do I see what I think I see? Five eyes, this is easel. You have a visitor. He's hanging on your right missile! Sky Surfer, you must do something about this foolhardy recklessness. <laughs> Mind if I have a lift? All right, but I'm going to have to watch you have sex with my hot wife. Good to see you again. <laughs> I would like to believe that, mon ami. Enough small talk. Jana Marie, thank you for the deep dive. Michael Marr also wrote on TMNT, Mega Man, Darkwing Duck, a lot of Barney the Dinosaur, Handy Manny, Johnny Quest, Problem Child, Facts of Life, Carmen Sandiego, and a few other things. Okay, so it's a sitcom guy. It's a sitcom guy. That's why it's got a little sass. 
Let's get down to business, gentlemen. I need your special skills for a venture of mine. In spooky, uh, spooky Dave. It's not that they can do anime better than Japan. It's that they outsourced this shit to Japanese studios and they had no even understanding of anime and accidentally exposed millions of children to the insane high action compelling art form of anime through just the forces of uh, economics. In turn, you will receive a sizable fee and passage out of the country. Your target is a hacienda in southern Mexico owned by oil billionaire Miguel Juarez. The hacienda houses a well-guarded laboratory where Juarez has developed a process that can double the amount of gasoline refined from oil. He is convinced his process will benefit Mexico and the world. I intend for it to benefit me. Thanks for the ride. Lions, you will use your tactics. So they're doing a heist. They're doing like an Ocean's Eleven, but in the in Sky. <sighs> Wait. All right. So. So you already have a rogues gallery of omnip of nigh omnipotent bioborgs. Every one of those goddamn existing villains could already do. Are they going to drop like? Four new villains on this. Are they all going to get bioborg? Is that what's happening? Are like all of the, is, are all of these guys going to get borged up? Or are they just going to be as is? You know what? I'm, I'm already trying to metagame. I just got to sit back, sip my tequila that is not affecting my coherence. And just let the episode wash over me like so many warm buckets of slime skills to find the hacienda in the dense jungle. Irakura will take out the guards around the lab. Renoir will shut down the computerized alarm system. Armitage will take out the radar and defense weapons. <laughs> Sounds pretty routine to me, mate. There is nothing routine about it. You must get over the Mexican border undetected. You must have a keen sense of smell to detect the presence of the highly trained guards that surround the hacienda. You must be able to hear the sound of the high-frequency security beams before you trip them. In short, you will need the attributes of the canine. So, we're bringing dogs with us, eh? No, you are the dogs. May I direct your attention to the transformation? Oh, they're getting bioborg. The process will temporarily rearrange DNA structure, turning you into dogs. You will maintain all your human capabilities while in your canine. They're... T um, I know I should just let it happen. I know, I, I understand I should just let it happen. But are they seriously laying out that these guys are going to be turned into hyper, it's going to be a dog heist. And not like half dog hybrids. They're just going to be turned into dogs. That is just a thing that's going to happen this episode. Oh my God. Oh my Lord, sweet, merciful Mary Joseph in heaven. Let, oh, this show is a gift. This show is a goddamn gift. I form, except for the power of speech. Once inside. Talking dogs. The hacienda, you will return to human form and use your skills to finish the job. When the security defenses are down, I will drop Dr. Five Eyes into Juarez's backyard, where he will implant a microscopic explosive inside Juarez's body. He'll be a walking time bomb. <laughs> this is too much! This is too much! Too much story! Too much story! I repeat, so just reel it back. Just just like one thing at a time. Just give me one. Okay, we're doing a heist. Great. But also we're turning you into dogs. Great. But also we're planting a bomb in the guy. Holy crap, what is going on? He'll be the detonator. I'm sure he'll be more than delighted to do as you command. I have no doubt. It's in your hands now. Do not fail me. 
One at a time, gentlemen. Hey, Pippa. Grimoire. Happy. I, we will cross the I'm so glad you could make it for Dog Heist. You'll we'll have to get past me first. <laughs> Wait, they're all dogs already? Dogs. Nice touch, Cybron. <laughs> Why are they dogs? Why was turning them into dogs necessary? Sky server. Yeah, Grenader. Grenader, hell yes. Like I am on psychedelics right now. The man is twisted. Just keep your eyes open. You'll need this miniaturized computer, Rima. It will help you locate and disarm the lab's security system. on top of bullshit on top of bullshit why is this plot so goddamn complicated one more thing if you bite your right paw you will activate a bioelectronic circuit that will change you back to human press your palm to transform back to dog so many goddamn rules why are there so many what is going on Oh, the tiki oh, my, my blood is poison now. My brain is on fire. I am tripping. I am goddamn tripping. This is Joe Rogan could never. There are people that pay thousands of dollars to do ayahuasca in the jungles of the Amazon to feel even a fifth of how much fucking universal energy is flowing through my body watching goddamn sky surfers what the fuck is happening if i can call you that bingo let's take him down there something's moving uh, never mind just some wild dogs <laughs> He's mine! Yeah, shoot those dogs! Oh, bummer! All I got is a dog tag! Let me see that. It's a miniature computer. <laughs> Could be a clue to Cybron's scam. That means our dogs will have to tell Cybron about their little setback, and they'll need a telephone. Blah! What is happening? This isn't, this is maddening. I am deep, I am in a, I'm just gonna pour a little more tequila. I feel like a little more tequila will help. Just a, you know, just a little, just a couple of splashes. This is in, this is the heart of madness. I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm on the edge of the universe and I am plummeting into the core of humanity. Computer, Cybron. 
You must recover it. You cannot let Skycipher 1 endanger the mission. Wait, they're human again? Oh, la, senor. Hey, chunky gravy hobo. I'm glad you can watch my psychic death. We'll search the town. I'm gonna hang back. Use my car's computer to crack this baby. Get dogged. Parkour dogs. Yeah. Yep. They trap above you, Brad. Why would they be why would they be better as dogs? These mutts need a little obedience training. Gingerbeard, I, it did not even register to me that the criminals have not changed clothes from their prison stripy uniforms yet. They're still in their prisoner uniforms. Fucking Christ on a cracker. I am... I... What is happening to my mind? What is happening to my mind? Hey, hey, what's your favorite cartoon episode? Ah, uh, it's got to be Sky Surfer Strike Force uh, Episode 10, Season 1. You know, the one where they shoot a bunch of missiles at dogs. Okay, Jailbird. Game's over. <laughs> wait! Wait! What? Now where's that dirty dog? Oh my god! Right. I... F I need a breath. I need to breathe. The f A fucking matador bull? It's... This is... This is madness. This is madness. This isn't real. I'm not... I'm not alive. This is a dream. I am dreaming right now. There aren't 70 people watching across two internet streaming platforms. I'm not a puppet. I'm not watching this. None of this is real. This isn't possible. This isn't possible. What is happening? Fucking Christ. Chrissy, wake up. I don't like this. Operation Dogs of Doom. Target Miguel Juarez, owner of Cabrillo Oil. The whole game plan is here. They won't be busting in without this. <laughs> Why are they still dogs? Why are they dogs? Why are they dogs? Why are they dogs? Why are they dogs? Hey, 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 everybody. Why are they dogs? That's a fun question. Why are they dogs? Why is this woman kicking dogs on this television show for children from 1990? Who gives a fuck? Busting in without this. <laughs> Here comes the boob armor. No sword, no boar. I'm gone. What? I 
I think I'm having an aneurysm. So much for the getaway. She must have slipped past us. No, Lyons has the back exit covered. She's here, somewhere. Kim's in trouble. Kim to Sky One. Come in, Sky. You okay, Kim? The hounds are closing in. Pedro's Cantina, south end of Main Street. Why is she in a fucking... Why is she dressed like that? When did that happen? <laughs> fucking Christ! Hand over the computer, mademoiselle. Come and get it, Frenchie. Anyone else want to dance with sliced dice? My pleasure, baby doll. Handsome I'm okay. Senorita. She's with me. Weird. Outside. They changed back into dogs. Why is any of this? What is happening? Nuts! I'll fox my dogs again. Not necessarily. I know where they're going. I'm gonna wake up with the worst hangover of my life. I hope the rewiring job on your board holds. I had to hurry. Our canine pals have half an hour head start on us. <laughs> Ginger beer. Ah, yes, the traditional Mexican bone stand. <laughs> Maravilloso. The ancient has already doubled its miles per gallon with our formula, and it is still running. Gentlemen, we will make the world's oil reserves last another 10,000 years. <laughs> These dogs are animated so weirdly. at the entrance in the weapons tower. Signal when you've done your job. Hi there, just a normal karate master hanging out. It's just over that rise. I might have overdone it on the tequila. I am, I like need to hold on to the mantle of the earth. Otherwise I'm afraid I might fall off. Dogs of doom on schedule, Cybron. The radar and weapons are set to detonate in 10 seconds. Excellent. You have the micro explosive. All right, I'll drink I water. Senor Juarez in your capable hands, Dr. Five Hours. There it is. Yeah. Looks quiet. What were you saying? The security system has been compromised, Senor Juarez. You are in great danger. Our job is done. You can bring in the choppers. We're on our way in. The show and the tequila are working in tandem to destroy my soul. And we're back to dog. <laughs> well, that dog's dead. Yeah, the karate guy kicked a guy spooky dookie. 
Laser face back in action. We must remain here, Senor Juarez. It is the safest place. Uh, what do you want with me? I am going to perform a simple medical procedure, Senor Juarez. I will inject a highly concentrated nitroglycerin micro pellet into your bloodstream. <laughs> You won't feel a thing. Unless, of course, you refuse to submit to Cybron's will. Then I'm afraid there will be serious complications. In other words, you'll be blown to bits. I wouldn't, Five Eyes. Oh I my god. Keep my eye out for you, Sky Surfer. Catch me if you can! Ah! An illusion. Get us out of here. I so hate being interrupted in the middle of a house call. For my formula, it is meant as a gift for the world, not a madman. Lucky for you, Cybron's process is temporary, or you'd be going to the pound instead of prison. Guys, <laughs> we're out of here. Bad break that dog when Wag got away, Sky. Doesn't matter, Ice. Cybron's mine, no matter which way you skin it. Is that it? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I... I'm at a loss for words. I'm at a genuine loss for words. That was the most psychotropic bullshit display I can't, I can't even. The tequila hit my blood all at once. I am, I am, thank you, Jewel Riders Archive. You're tuned into the Jewel Rider. Oh my God. Okay. All right. All right. We have to end the stream. We have to end the stream. Um, we have, okay, all right, we're watching the rest of the commercials, and then I have to lie down and drink water and, like, recover psychically. That was, that was unprecedented. That was unprecedented. I'm getting the spins. I, I can barely form sentences. That was fucking insane. That was goddamn madness. Okay, please, media share. Please just work. Please just work. Mr. Sketch, here you go. Here's the first commercial of the last run. Oh, my God. Uh, Heaven Hound? I'm not good. I'm not good right now. Oh, 
一応一緒な。父さん。お前の成長を確かめた。今のお前がセガを守っている。父さん。もう俺のことは忘れるんだ。父さん。俺は勝つての。セガの象徴だ。父さん。セガは今やゲームだけではなく、総合的なエンターテ
I might be pavement licking Kirschnickard. That might have happened. That might have been what happens when Fleshwife actually monitors my intake and I don't just mindlessly chug a, a great deal of tequila trying to make sense of old cartoons. that sauce on. Come on and maul it. Sizzle that flavor in. And when you maul it. Watch them all go wild. Maul it. Next time, don't just baste your barbecue. Do the one thing that's sure to make it a great barbecue. Maul it. Thank you, Modern Bard, for that roundtable callback barbecue sauce commercial, which is a sentence I didn't think I would say. Oh, no. Oh, no. Modern Bard also donated for TV hat commercial. I'm upset. I'm already upset. I don't know what this is, and I'm you upset. An iPod, iPhone, or digital video player, then you need TV hat. Private, portable, and hands-free. TV hat provides a motion picture experience absolutely anywhere. This is so stupid. All right, so first off, put these earbuds in. Okay. All right. This is stupid. Flip it right in the pouch at the front of the bill. And you put on TV hat. And then last. This isn't real. Down the custom lens. This has to be fake. This is so cool. It's a great product. Man, I don't know. It looks kind of weird. This is awesome. Man, let me, all right, let me try. No, get drone. My kids would love this. This is stupid. Try the product the Wall Street Journal terrifying among its peers at the Consumer Electronics Show. The custom magnification lens provides a big screen experience. This is bullshit. From your own iPod. Unadulterated bullshit. Video player. Getting through a long commute? You need TV hat. This Stuck is so airport? dumb. Time flies with TV hat. Watch what you want on your lunch break. Only with TV hat. Th watch Just TV watch the thing on your phone like a normal you person. TV hat. The unique shades eliminate glare on your screen and ensure a private viewing experience all your own. Order your own TV hat or visor in red, white, blue, khaki, or camo. TV hat is the perfect exercise companion. No, it's not. TV hat is durable and portable, great for taking on the road. And when used with your iPod or iPhone, TV hat is an exciting virtual reality gaming experience. Mm, doubt. Portable and hands-free, TV Hat is the video viewing gear to get you in the picture. Yours for the low price of twenty. Look how dumb this is. Look how stupid the brim looks. And a bigger, better, hands-free viewing experience. Order yours today. That was the single worst product we've ever seen. Modern Bard, I hope you're proud. Oh, shit. Modern Bard says we are running low on Dodds, but I'm planning on making something special for our final Dodd. Dodds furniture and mattress. I love it. I want I just I wish the Dodds could never end. Behind the curtain. What do you have to say for yourself? I want to be in the soul. Dodd's furniture. <laughs> Great. There's no, no place like Dodd. There's, There's no, no place, place like Dodd. Hmm. This one's from Ohay Reeves, who says, on top of having a racetrack and consistent artillery fire, Lawton also has a massive haunted house attraction in the Trail of Fear. This year, they even had an Evil Dead musical with Splatter Zone. Please look at the lovingly crafted website. We are back <laughs> for our 14th year of terror. The Trail of Fear, Oklahoma's largest haunted attraction, is located just four and a half miles east of Lawton on Highway 7. With four attractions at one location, the Trail of Fear, Circa de Morte, the Voodoo Bayou, 
At noon, the 2011 The Crispy Family Carnival Freak Show Sideshow. There's food, games, and shows for everyone. Please visit www.trailerfair.com for more information. Uh, just for a quick glance, this is the Carnival of the Trail of Fear website. Beautiful, beautiful Web 1.0 at its finest. Oh, shit. Modern Bar donated for Crazy Bones. I haven't thought about Crazy Bones in 20 goddamn years. Incredible. Uh, Modern Bar says, these didn't catch on, but they were all the rage at my summer camp for a single year. You got the bones ready? I play with bones too. So play with crazy bones, that's what you gotta do. Kids go crazy for crazy bones. The collectible, tradable, playable new craze. Where crazy bones play seven different games, like battle and over the line. Each one has a name like Eggy, Fly, Frankie, Joker, and the Fag. Get your tutors, get your charters, play for fun. Just play with crazy bones on the playground in the sea. Series one now available for a limited time. Each sold separately from Play Toys. Hey, Modern Bart. Also, single channel audio warning. Your headphones aren't broken. It's single channel audio. Uh, I had to find this or it would have kept me up tonight. Go get him, Nacho. There's a new lunch that just moseyed into town from over the border. Go get him, Nacho. There it is. Lunch bag away. Introduce a new Lunchables Taco Bell Tacos and Nachos, a real fiesta of fixings for making your own tacos and nachos. And there's no need to heat them. New Lunchables Taco Upsetting Bell Upsetting CG and nachos. animation. Make fun of lunch. Thanks, dude. And what is this? Oh, God, Ginger Beard. Another dumpster, another kid's bob. Here we go. Let's get it started. Ha! You're so lucky. Because seven means some of your favorite songs are together again in one great place. It's the brand new Kids Bop 7. The best selling kids music series in the country does it again. Track after track of kid-friendly songs performed by the Oh, we are in the kids. depths of the nothing 2000s. The you and me. Seven means more songs. For me. For me. For me. <laughs> kids Bop 7 is not sold in any store. When you order Kids Bop 7, you'll also get these awesome temporary tattoos. Mm. So make seven your lucky number with the sounds of Kids Bop 7. To order, call the number on your if screen. If you've never heard the Kids Bop version of Float On, it is an experience. There's something about hearing a bunch of children go, That fat Jamaican took every last dime with that scam. Yeah! That just will make your brain liquefy completely. And what was that last? Oh, we're, there, that was the, wait. There should be one last commercial, but MediaShare is being weird. MediaShare is being a real hunk of dunk right now. God damn it. Wait. Why isn't it why isn't it going? All right. MediaShare is being bad, so for the last commercial, we're going to YouTube. Let me just pop this out. Bop trail of cheese. Do ba boo 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 boo. Mr. Sandman, give me a dream. Play me commercial. You like to have your own blast of the past with everyone's favorite Stone Age superstar, Fred Flintstone. Now you can. He's really? Through this exclusive TV offer, all for only fourteen ninety five. What a terrible value proposition! You can enjoy your favorite classics like the Bedrock Witch. This is awful. Remember everyone's favorite group, the Way Out. That's what the fun is. Way Out. 
Who would actually buy a CD of Flintstone songs? Included in this cool Flintstones collection, you'll receive the Flintstones' newest release, Bedrock Hop, featuring Funky Fred and the Bedrock Rappers. All this for only $14.95 for two cassettes or only $19.95 for two seats. Well, Lolo Frosty, you're, oh, you're your own person. To order the Flintstones music collection for $14.95 for cassettes or $19.95 for compact discs, plus shipping wow. and handling, credit card orders call this toll-free number or send check or money order to this address. And that was it. That was the last commercial of the night. And with that, this draws another episode, another rendition of the cartoon dumpster to a close. I I am feeling things. I got to drink a lot of water. I got to lie down. And I got to really pace myself next week. Donnie Lurch, I might puke. I might puke. I really just did not handle my bullshit this week. Yeah, I'll eat something. Man, real rookie-ass hours. I want to thank everybody who donated for their commercials. I want to thank the creators of Sky Surfer Strike Force for breaking my brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody tell Fleshwife what went down tonight. She will. N- I will not hear the end of it. I, I, I'm not that. It's not that bad. Don't worry. I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh. I promise, you know what? You know what? I swear, all sober, all sober cartoon dumpster next week. Don't tell her about the VOD. Don't tell her about the VOD. She doesn't need to know. She doesn't need to know that I oopsie doodled on the glug glug and got gurgle gargled in the brain. Nobody needs to know this. Thank you, everybody, for your generosity, your amazing jokes. Again, this is a pleasure. This is a a gift. And I will see you all next week. As always, please be nice. Don't be jerks. And uh, is Amber still streaming? I saw Amber went live. If she's still live, I want to get the raid going for her. Let me just double check. Oh, oh, hi, my love. Hi. Oh, hi, beautiful. Yeah, Amber's live, so I'll raid her. Amber Nelson, everybody. She's, she streams, too. She's great. I'm sorry, baby. We're just wrapping up now. Oh, you missed a insane Sky Surfers, babe. You missed an ins- like world-class crazy sky surfers all right rating amber youtubers i'll see you as well everybody have a good one good night to ye have a great one bye-bye